hey everyone so today's video is going to be a nice fall look and I love this look because I'm using an affordable palette and it is the wet and wild comfort zone and I am doing like a little mini review in it's tutorial anyway so I'm not gonna go heads up because you guys have already seen the actual tutorials and here on YouTube and also actual videos and actual comments and actual reviews about it um throughout the internet world especially the beauty community so you have saw this once before you can get it at your local drugstore they're all in stock so um the palette looks like this and I think my, I have did a review of it before too as well so the palette looks like this and you don't have to go by the labels on the eyeshadow because what and while it's known for labeling their eyeshadow because you don't really have to go strictly in that direction that's what I didn't do so um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I will see you soon Starting out with a painterly paint pot by MAC. This is a primer and we're just going to keep our eyeshadows from getting oily and also this is going to help the shadows to stay in place throughout the day. I really love using primers in general and we just wanted to take it and apply it both of the eyes and blend it out very, very well. Okay, taking the Naked Basis palette, and which is the Naked Basis palette, I took this color paint, and the reason why I took the palette itself is because the Wet n Wild palette did not have any matte colors at all, so I didn't really want it to be a very shimmer eyeshadow look, but we're just going to slightly press the shadow into the crease. We're going to not use windshield wiper motion, we're just going to like press and tap it on there. Because fallout, you're gonna have a lot of fallout, and plus the look looks a lot less harsh. So we're gonna just continue to do that. And then I'm gonna take another shade, this pretty shimmer brown here, and we're just gonna apply that on top of the shade because it looks like an ombre effect. So like you have your matte going toward the shimmer, or the shimmer going toward the matte, and. This shade gives it just the crease just a little bit pop, and I love it. So now we're just going to take the Clarifying Press Powder by Elf, and this is in the shade Ivory. It's a little dirty. I don't know why I showed it that close, but we're just going to take and apply it under our brow bone. This is going to um, settle the look just a little bit. Um, this is like really going to settle the look, and just going to soften it just a tad. Next, we're going to take the green, the lightest green of the palette and we're going to apply it at the very first half of the eyes and I really really love how this ombre effect is of the eyes so that's why I call it ombre eyes so um, then we're going to take the darker green and we're just going to take that and apply it next to the green itself that we use and just give that little ombre um, effect that I love and like and it just fits for fall it's like a perfect combination for fall right and we're just going to kind of tap it up towards the creases a little bit and then that's how it looks right now then we're going to take naked bases again and then we're going to take the same blended brush that we used earlier and then we're going to add curry from the palette and then we're just going to of course smoke out the outer leaves just a little bit so I think that looks very well with just the black and the RV. Of course, every video of mine, I have to do that. So now I'm going to take my eyeliner. Not my personal eyeliner. I don't have a makeup line yet, but hopefully in the future I will. But I'm going to take Elf's eyeliner and we'll swipe it across the eyes there. And I'm going to take the, of course, you guys know, the Rocky Mascara by Maybelline New York. My favorite mascara of all time. Just going to take that and just apply a few coats there. And yeah, just probably two or three coats. And then the those, that's it for the eyes. Now for the lips, I'm just going to take this purple plumish color and we're just going to fill in this, the, those big kissable one one lips. And then we're just going to fill it in with the liner. We're going to draw this all over to the lips. 
And I already have on a lip balm, by the way. It's EOS lip balm, anyway. So I'm just going to apply it all over to the lips. And then we'll rub it in. And kissy to you guys. <laughs> then we're going to take a e.l.f. eyeliner brush. But I use it as a lip brush. There's no product on it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the e.l.f. Element lipsticks. And I'm going to just take it and apply it all over to the lip. And there it is. Your lips. Alright, so that was it. I decided to throw in the Naked Basis Palette by Urban Decay. Because the palette itself... I wanted to tone down the shimmer just a little bit because it didn't have any matte colors, but they do have a matte eyeshadow palette. I think that looks just like this one, but it's all matte and it's by the same company, which is what which is what while this video isn't sponsored, I decided to do this because you guys was wanting me to use and knew that I had the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette because you saw it in a previous video and you saw it in a previous makeup collection video. Videos, and I just had to do it so um, I wanted to use faint and the Urban Decay and this is like affordable too as well I'd rather pay this much like $27 than the original Naked 1 and Naked 2 because the original Naked 1 Naked 2 is 50 bucks each but this is like $27 so that is really like a great at your local Sephora or at your local um Ulta or online store where you can get this at even on eBay you can find this on eBay but I'd rather go into like Ulta somewhere to get the actual quality instead of just going on eBay but anyways that was the tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video don't forget to Instagram me Facebook me Twitter me anything you know just to keep me updated with looks that you guys want to see for fall etc. I am rambling so I had to go and let me go ahead and say that my birthday is on the 16th of October and I will be celebrating it. Woo, 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 woo. Of course anybody celebrate their birthday but you know. But um, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.